<clears throat> Sorry, I got like a mellow yeah, well, sound on my throat. Welcome back, everybody, to my Let's Play The Jungle Book on Sega Genesis. We're going to continue right where we left off. As usual, it's going to be like a pretty short one. Alright, here we go. Right where we left off when I heard a random monkey saying, It's Baloo the Bear. And me saying the last video. Yeah, that's him. How did that square get in there? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, you get the idea. This one says, Catch a Fruit. I think this one counts as like a mini boss music for some reason. I don't know why, but you get the idea. I tried to catch as many fruit as possible. Or he's screwing up. Yeah, if you keep me messing fruit like I have, if you fall into water. You know, as a kid, I couldn't figure out what that is. Is it a giant walnut or something? Yeah, if you keep on getting fruit, you'll get a heart. Or an extra life. And I missed. Apple. Pear. Some grapes. Cherries. Mango. Oh, missed. Give me a heart. Alright, try again. Alright, get that. Oh, I missed. I got a boomerang. That's a good thing. So if I fall in, I'm just gonna go ahead and end it here. This this doesn't matter. Yep, screw it. I'm going for a swim. Yeah, that one just counts as a bonus stage. I'm not just to say about it. Okay, hang blue house. A man cub finish his journey along with the river. All right, this one's kind of a short one. You can actually ride blue. But, to be smart, we're going to go in and go up here. I'll watch out for that. Okay, Doug. It takes the time dugging. As I was going to say, um, freaking hard work. Okay, go up here. Now, as I was going to say, um, um, pretty sure you collect all the gems you end up in the bonus stage, and freaking and primate. Um, this stage is not super long, but trust me, I wish it was longer. This one's very short, and I'm going to try to make sure I get through this one as quickly as possible. A banana, I mean, fruit at me, will ya? Sure, I'm taking the hit. You also have to find, I like, guess, sense of time. So it'll give you, like, enough time to explore the place. Because if you take too long, you'll run out and you eventually lose some life. On the Super Nintendo, you get, like, plenty of time. On here, you have to act quick before it runs out. Finding the gems is not too difficult, but trust me, later on... Okay. And probably not too hard, but... Eh, you get the idea. I'm a little bit disappointed that they don't have a like, gum um, on the 
old NES game. Also, I forgot to delete some bloody files. I mean, this video ain't gonna last for like 15 minutes, and this is gonna be a short one, actually. Because I don't know what I'm doing in my life, and I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm just like getting older, I'm not thinking straight. I sleep for like 7 hours and 27 minutes. So I'm not focusing on what I'm doing right now. This is going to be like a short gameplay. No, no, no. No, no, no. Hold on. Um. What the heck? I've never seen that fish looking like that. Try again. Yeah, screw it. Okay. That was super quick. Let's see chapter six. A uh, tree village. All green gets lost in a tree village as the journey continues. Now. Alright, this one seems different than the SNES. This one, yeah, and they can in on why it's called the Tree Villain because it's. <sighs> Come on! Oh, I, I got it. I freaking got it. Um. Nope! Are they trying to freaking kill you? How does that work? Okay. Whatever, I'm taking the hit. Alright, let's focus here. I think I remember this thing being a little bit tougher than the other ones. Because there's like monkeys everywhere, scorpions, flies. I mean, bees. Um. Most likely these huts that teleport you here and there. Oh, this is where the boss battle begins. We haven't collected enough of gems yet to get to it. And that boss is the witch doctor. That's not in the movie, but... Blayward are a bunch of monkeys. How do I know this? Because I played this game like many times as a kid. Well, on the regular Genesis game. It's kind of weird that these things can teleport you here and there. Oh, there it is. Some the sense of time. If you are lucky enough, you'll probably find those somewhere else. Okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you saw that, right? I saw that snake just oop, call a banana there. <laughs> All right. All right, that's enough. Stupid animal. Oh, come on, he jumped on him. All right, here we go. Hopefully I can get to the boss before this tavern goes down on me because I got too many things on it. On the boat. Stinking hedgehog! Reference from Sonic Lost World. 
or porcupine, whatever that thing is. It might be a hedgehog that has its ears out. The porcupines have like lots of sharp quails all over its body. Oh, here we go. Boss, huh? Boss time. Alright, here we go. Like, this one's pretty easy. Good thing now. Don't get me on the other side. Alright, ready? Aim. Fire. Oh, look at that. Can't aim upwards. This one's pretty simple. You just stay right here and they can't hit you. As long as you don't crouch down like I have. I'm turn the other wrong way. Whatever, I'm taking the hit. Okay, I'll jump right where the ticket is at. Alright, one down, two more to go. This is going to be a short gameplay. Looks pretty simple. Just aim them side to side. Whenever they keep opening half of their ticky mask. As a kid, I find this one pretty hard. But since I'm older now, this actually looks like a piece of cake. You have to shoot your... Rocks at them, or... Whatever, Mowgli shooting out his bamboo stick. And pints. I die. Alright, come on, you're almost dead. Yes! Woohoo! Okay. Their salmon, the ruins, aka King Louis Temple. The mysterious monkeys kidnap Mowgli and take him to King Louis. Can't wait until we get to him later on in the game. Try to get through this one very fast. So now, not only that we're gonna deal with monkeys, but baboons and deadly traps and annoying freaking hedgehogs. That's not blue color. Booby doo, I'll be like you. Alright, let's stop singing that song. I might get copyrighted and playing that song. I need to sing it for like, I think a second. I love the movie and the songs. I think nowadays you just can't sing to it. Ah, I hate that song. I got the idea from Indiana Jones. This is going to be short gameplay because I know I can't make them go on longer anymore. There might be a way to make this video longer. But you're just seeing me play this for like... Almost 16 minutes, and I see. get the apple. The graphics still look pretty great, by the way. It looks pretty brilliant. It looks fun, and it's not half bad once you enjoy playing this game a lot more as a kid. Let's just go through this real fast, and I miss. Don't care, taking the hit. We're gonna get through here. Come on. Just get up there. Alright, almost there. There it is. Go, 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 go. Thank you. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's right there. I didn't even see him. 
because those stupid chairs in the way. Okay, I did it just in time. I think this thing's about to end in a moment. So you check there's down the Clanton ruins. Alright. Yep, the scene from the movie. Mowgli has us find King Louie at the top of the ruined village. Okay, hmm. Okay, this is a perfect time to end the game playing here. I'm gonna go ahead and save it right now. I think this is is this thing overheating? Because I don't know. Yeah, I think it is overheating then. Okay, I think I showed you enough of this. Glad you guys stick around to see me play more of the Jungle Book on Sega Genesis on the Switch for a while. It's kind of unfortunate that I'm still not figuring out how to make this video go on even longer. It's going to be really a short one. I kind of wish I could make it go longer and me jibber jabber.